Hello and welcome to my workshop. Uh, the Triumph Herald. Well, it's Herald at a sad, harsh learning curve. And that's why it's taken me so long to get this video out, which I hope you're going to enjoy. A uh, 10 minute video which is about an hour and a half on the, in the bin and 10 minutes left to put out. Uh, I did have a few problems with this, basically my own fault. I think I was a bit ambitious with what I tried to do. The little bits I tried, I'll point them out to you as we're going along and showing through. But we have got there in the end, so let's see how we get there. Right, and here we are, starting to just quickly run through it now. Sort of, we're here in the drill press, got it in the vise, quickly running through it, drill the front and back posts out and get the rivets. This was pretty straightforward. As you can see, this, I do it at a slow speed, it cuts better and it cuts nice. I'm gonna to have to make some jigs up for these though, because as you can probably notice, the car is sinking in the vise a little bit. So, we'll get through, get it done. Here I am, problem number one. I decided that I'm going to drill out the headlight recess and fill it with that chrome paint and then top that up with some epoxy resin. So it looked like there was lights in there. In theory, not a bad idea. In practice, well, things could have gone slightly better. This side wasn't too bad. The next side, you, so I'm just going to move over to in a minute, didn't come out quite as well. Basically, the, the, the casting around the entrance of the light isn't as smooth as it looks and I nearly ended up with a four millimeter hole in my hand it didn't happen so we'll look on the bright side and here we go final little final little push and basically just count putting a countersink in where the headlights used to be and the drills going slowly and I have actually slowed it down the tape down a, a bit here anyway so that is about three millimeters depth max. I just wanted to give the effect of a, of a lamp unit and lamp being there. Anyway, here starts headache number one. Here we are just prising off the base of it. It does pop out, it's a bit tight at this back post, but it pops out. And here I'm starting to cut out the interior. I decided that I was going to put my own wind glass inside, uh, pretend glass inside it, and put my own interior inside it. You can't get the interiors anyway, so I'll build it. The interior works better than the glass did. But I'm just cutting out the strips. You can see I've measured it all up on my calipers and then just scratch it out. This styrene's fantastic stuff to work with. I've, I've modelled with this for donkey's years. Not particularly making car kits and stuff, but engineering models as much as anything. You can literally just scratch it, snap it, glue it, and there you've got what you want. And this is the base. I'm actually taking measurements off the body in between time. And marking it out. As you can tell, I've <coughs> already primed the, sh the chassis. There was about a ton and a half, of, well, a ton and a half, but the interior was absolutely full of carpet dust. It was terrible. 
and I sort of didn't actually skip over stripping the paint off but somewhere in the chaos of sorting this lot out and swapping it from PC to tablet bits have got lost and uh, dropping it in the nine inch deep Kilner jar bottle for the caustic soda was one of the bits as I said before I don't really like caustic soda but having already had a couple of bits of trouble with this what should be a straightforward job I just decided to chuck it in the caustic soda and get it over and done with Oh, you can see the scratches on the edge there. These with styrene, it's lovely stuff. It's like building Lego. It's that simple. And the glue, you can see how quickly it takes. And that just supports it. You can actually move it for about, you've got a couple of minutes or so to mess about where you can actually manipulate it. So if you need to change it, you can do. I'm just test fitting it all the time making sure it goes in and making sure I've got clearances for the pla the plastic windows that are going to go in <clears throat> I did order a steel uh, ste um, steering wheel and they've sent me the wrong one so I've had to bodge one it'll do for now until I get the right one through until I pick get one out of another body I'm actually putting a little piece of round plastic on the dashboard because I did do the dashboard and I cut out a little piece of tubing literally shaving it half a millimetre thick and dropping it on there so I can, got something to lay the chrome paint on for the speedometer that should be there you got it? Yeah, because I dropped it about four or five times. Right, here we're having a play with the window. This is my first attempt, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, it might be my third attempt. There was a lot of trial and error involved in this, and eventually I've... I wasn't over-impressed with it, but then I looked at it and I looked at the Vauxhall Viva I did before and thought, actually it's not so bad. Right, fun and games. You can see me dogging the background, checking the back. Paint. First coat of paint, gone on beautifully well. The only thing is, I made a stupid mistake here. I decided to try a different type of paint. It's still enamel but it's a different brand and this was my first mistake secondly this is my second mistake the masking I have masked up cars bikes lorries and never had a problem a three inch dinky toy no end of trouble it's taken about three days to get all these pieces to look like this. I had paint leaks, overpaint, runs. It's been sanded down and blocked back four times at least. And then eventually I got to the stage where I just thought, gee, you're it. It's quite, it's close. You can't really see the effect the wind, the headlights are having there. But I'm not dissatisfied with that in fact i'm quite happy with the headlight bit and i'm not unhappy with the windshields the blazing in it for a first attempt to say i don't think it's too bad and the interiors worked out pretty well i did copy it off the colors color scheme off a triumph herald that i'd seen well, these are all the component bits here you can see now i'm just dropping the resin 
into the recess. This was a fiddly little job. Took forever. If it had a pressure pot, I would have put it in it. It would have just helped it set a bit clearer. 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 It's set clear. It's not looking too bad. And you can't really see it on camera, but when you look at it, you can sit in your hands and look at it. It does actually look like there is glass headlights in there. My supervisor's still hovering around in the background there. And here we are. This is how it turns out. I did paint and polish the bottom of it and then I dusted it with some aluminium dry brush some aluminium on it just to give it a bit of wear and the wheels I polished up and then I just let a bit of pencil grey mucky them up a bit okie doke well that was fun and games that was all that was left after the best part of a week messing about with that. The paint was absolutely atrocious. I had a nightmare with it. Here, here we are. You can see it now. It is actually, it's, now it's dried. But I might actually redo it. But all the trouble is I'll have to mask the headlights off. You don't know if you can see the headlights. They did it, they have actually come out quite well. And I could do it. It's, uh, well, it's about 19, what was it, 1962, 63, this model, so it's 50, 55 years old, 60 years old, no, it's 55 years old, so it's got a nice new lease of life, it might be getting painted again yet, I don't know, I'm not quite, I don't know, I'll, I'm probably going to use the airbrush in future and mix up some of the enamel paints. Anyway, the next challenge... Corvette, Corgi Corvette Stingray, it's come through the post, it's arrived and it's going to get a bit of a do. I did get another one, I got another one off eBay and uh, it's nearly mint. I thought I was buying a wreck and I've got like a brand spanking new one. But this needs a little bit of attention to it, smashed up at the front, it's all twisted round and we're going to get, I'm going to get straight on with this, get it recorded and see if I can't get this out a bit quicker than the last one, sorry for that. And we'll see you again later, I hope you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like and make any comments you want and I'll catch you next week I hope, <laughs> bye.